got to eat something. He's going to tell someone. You don't know that. Well, I would if I was in his shoes. Look, he loves you. He might not, once he's slept on it. You are lucky to get a grunt out of Aaron, but when he does grunt, you know he means it. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe he's the only one of us who's seen since. No. No, Mum, don't bottle out of me now, please. Promise me. I really need you with me on this. That's them. That's them, that social services. I knew he'd tell someone. I don't get angry with him. I'm not. I'm just a bit frightened. No, we'll just deny everything, OK? What are they going to do with me? Nothing. I won't let them. You, be you better answer it, then. Sorry, forgot me keys. And I know I'm a bit late. I'll, I'll make the time up. Just give us a few secs, sort myself out. It's fine. Frankly, you look as I'm here at all. Do you want me to finish doing that breakfast? Please. It's a long story, but it involves my leaking washing machine and the mardy cow that lives downstairs. I can give you a blow-by-blow -blow account if you'd like. Yes, machine. Morning, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Aaron, um, how was Whitby? What? Did Jackson enjoy his holiday? You'll have to ask him. Oh, <laughs> heard about the skydive. If it's any comfort, I don't think I'd be too keen on jumping out of an aeroplane either. Aaron? You all right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe Jackson could come and do a talk for us at the youth club in Connelton. Sorry, I've got to get to work. So then she says she's going to call the council and get me on some kind of an ASBO. And I says they don't even do ASBOs anymore, which is right, innit? Because it was on the news. What? That they got rid of the ASBOs. I don't know. Well, they certainly don't give them out for leaky washing machines, I can tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You all right? He didn't Fine. sleep very well. <laughs> Guys, you can tell me to butt out if you like, but have you had some kind of a row? No more than normal. Jackson? No more than normal. No, because you see, what would have been normal is if you'd have told me to butt out. All right, butt out. I was joking. No, because you're always coming around here, sticking your nose Jackson! In. Am I missing something? Are you going to do that thing, Mum? I don't know. What's this? Mum lost something in Whitby. She's got to go and sort it out. All right. Mum? I'll do my best. So, do you want to tell me what's going on? No. I want to hear more about your washing machine. Aaron? What? We need to talk. I don't even care what I think. Of course I care what you think. Jackson cares. He's worried sick, wondering what you're going to do. You're making out like this is my fault. Have you spoken to anyone? And what if I have? Well, there's social services down on us. Or mental health. Jackson could end up being sectioned. Well, good. Maybe that'll sort his head out. He'll lose control of everything. He'll be a prisoner. Even more than he is now. Is that what you want? Well, they'll be alive and that'll do for me. But not for him. Well, deny it. I mean, who are they going to believe? Debbie does us the honour of turning up for work. Tell I've gone for that bumper. I cannot believe that you're going to do this. God help me, never can I. Well, then don't. Because if I can't change your mind, then someone else will. We can't force him to think something. He's never going to believe him. Yeah, well, he might do. Well, he will do. Steve said it can take years to get used to it. He doesn't want to get used to it. That's what he hates. Everyone telling him he's got to be this new person who's happy to be 
in a chair or, or in a bed, not, not feeling, not moving. Well, he isn't happy. And we can't make him that new person, not if we love him. See, you've given up. Just like he has, you've got to be stronger than him. Don't you dare say that Jackson's weak. I'm not saying that he's weak. I know he's not weak. I'm saying that it might take a month, a year, or maybe ten years. Or the rest of his life. Well, if he's dead, then that's forever. There's no second chances. What chances has he got now? Well, that's a good enough reason to kill him, is it? We've been over this a million times. He's made up his mind. I have to help him die in whichever way he chooses. It sounds great when you take the word kill out of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what, and you do? So come on, then. How are you going to do it? How are you going to kill your own son? I don't know. Makes me feel physically sick every time I think about it. But it's what he wants. It's what he needs, and I'm not going to let him down because I love him. Is anybody actually doing any work around here? Sorry. You better go. Aaron, I'm not asking you to do this with me. I'm asking you to let Jackson make his own choices. He's asking you. He's begging you. So please. Cheer up, kid. You get another trip to Jersey out of it, don't you? Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, you seem to enjoy it last time. Enough to bring a souvenir back, anyway. Will you just stop going on about it? I thought you wanted him to get a divorce. I do. Put that back. Is he messing you around? No. Something's not right, is it? You do know they're coming to fill it up in half an hour, don't you? Uh, where are you going? To make a brew. You all right? Fine. Program starting. I spoke to Aaron. When? Earlier. I didn't want to worry you. Why? What she said? <sighs> Nothing. Not really. And Amy, today we've got a great show lined up for you. I just wish. I just wish we could make it a bit easier for him. I do, for the both of you. Look, I've, I've been doing some research. He just needs time to get used to it. Yeah. Well, I do. You look fine. Don't go overboard, will you? How are we going, anyway? I told you. It's a surprise. Don't really do surprises. Give me a sec. We've, uh, we've got to be there for seven. I don't suppose you fancy going on a mystery date with Nick Hill, do you? What? No, neither do I, if I'm honest with you. You're going to tell me what's going on? Nothing. If she's giving you grief, just... Then just leave it, will you? Aaron! It's nothing. I just want to help. Needed a bit of fresh air. Been a long day. Yeah. I thought you might have been avoiding me. No phone social services. Right. 
Well, you did what you thought you had to do. I couldn't go through with it. Didn't tell him. This feels like I'm giving up on him. That's the last thing you're doing. Look, why don't you come in? Have a bit of tea with us, eh? No. Soon then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs>